every day, late at night. Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new on this channel, please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And um, to my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. I hope you are going to enjoy your stay. To those who have been um, supporting my channel, thank you so much for your continuous support. And do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a video. Um, if you guys do not know me, Ikamala Mutembili Bengu, and on this channel we share things like how to get jobs in Taiwan, vlogs, lifestyle, and all the jazz. But on today's video, I decided that, you know what, let me be open and honest with some of the things that I wouldn't normally share, which are going to be finances. Obviously, I'm not going to unpack my finances, you know, like I earn so much and not at all and whatnot and whatnot, because obviously that is con confidential. But I will share with you guys how I plan on saving 300,000 rands in 12 months. I know that is a lot of money and it seems a bit, you know, um, it seems a bit unrealistic, but it's possible. Right, so uh, disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. I do not know how to uh, do a lot of auditing or a lot of accounting things i am not one you can ask about finances but i i've been you know through things and i've had my fair share experience of um finances so i'm going to just share my strategies and my plan on how i plan to save my money on my own okay <laughs> i just wanted to put that out there Right, so um, just to start quickly on the video, I did write down all my notes, but um, obviously I think by this time you guys know some of the basic fundament fundamentals of saving money and reaching financial goals. So the first thing I want to do is have a budget. So every month I have a budget. I know that, okay, this month, these are the things that I have to pay for. I have my red list, which are things that are mandatory. Whether I need to pay someone their money, whether I need to pay, um, you know, an account. Luckily, I do not have any accounts. I do not have any, you know, clothing accounts or loans that I have to pay for. So I'm just making an example. Or maybe if I have to send money home, I make sure that every month i allocate how much i'm going to be sending and i also allocate each money or each fee like i can say okay i'm taking maybe for example normally i would send home around seventeen thousand nt but with that seventeen thousand nt i know that i'm going to pay this portion for this and i'm going to use that portion for that so each um, amount of money is allocated for a need right so uh, point number two is allocating funds so um, every month I make sure that in my within my budget I allocate to the T to the detail I want to make sure that I understand how much am I really going to have left so that I can work with that and I can know how much I have to save how much i have to spend and unfortunately um over the past five months i have been spending before saving for a lot of reasons um which i'm not going to touch on obviously but this is how i plan on um shifting my finances moving forward so point number three is i'm going to live within my means guys mina i live within my means uh, maybe in my vlogs I show um, off that side of me going out doing this doing that but on a normal week I don't show you I think you don't you guys don't get to see 99% of what happens in my life so in a normal week I really save I live within my means obviously if I feel like I want to drink something nice I can go to a convenience shop and I normally 
compare prices that's how i've been for the longest time i compare prices and i like um to go for what i afford than what i think looks good so i'm that type of type of a person even when it comes to clothes even though obviously as time went by starting to work i started to just stretch out a bit and you know not be too um strict on in my spending but i do tend to shift more on the bargain side and more on the save saving side of things um but there are things obviously that you cannot compromise like food um you need to eat good quality food especially being in a foreign country and also appliances i also try to make sure that i get good quality um things in terms of things that i get for my apartment because i don't want to keep buying the same things over and over again and um, the next point which is point number four is i set short-term goals so with every money that i make or every money that i spend i make sure that i have short-term goals so that is what i want to incorporate in helping me save my money i know that okay like even now i already know how i'm going to spend my next salary i know how i'm going to spend july salary like i just know how i'm going to spend my money for the entire year i already know i have an idea even though it might not go as planned you know like a hundred percent but i already have an idea and i think that is going to help me reach my my goal and then point number five is i want to avoid going out unnecessarily yes i'm not saying i'm going to be always indoors and stuff but i can meet up people maybe once a month at least or you know it it's not that deep you know like i can always make an excuse if i feel like an event or an activity is going to break my budget i mean at the end of the day if you're being honest i'm here to work and we are all here to work so you have to really think deep when it comes to spending a lot of money especially because we have different financial goals so i plan on um making sure that i give myself a period of time where i know that okay i have an allowance to go out i have an allowance to travel but most importantly just stay home as much as i can i mean i mean i am that person who doesn't mind staying home like i i don't mind you know i get to connect with myself i get to reflect i get to do things that i like i enjoy my company basically and then um point number six um whenever i get paid i send money home immediately so that is one of the plans that i have and that i'm going to implement is to send money immediately when you send money home immediately it avoids you tapping to money that you were supposed to save immediately and also it just saves you a lot of headache because you know that already you've paid for abc so there's no turning back whatever you have left you you have that left and with sending money home i plan on sending my savings to my south african account now how i plan on doing this is that i am going to break my savings into two uh, i'm still not sure if i want to do it half or i'm going to do it maybe 80 percent 20% or 70-30 but I'm going to break them into half a portion is going to go to my South African account and uh, a portion is going to go to my Taiwanese account um, the reason why I want to do this is because I really want to see growth in both accounts I want to feel motivated this side and that side and also because my sister fortunately I have a sister who manages my finances the other side so that helps as well because with my sister she helps me keep on track like she is the one who I send money to she will tell me okay the money has reflected so how do you want me to split to split the money and then it's always easy like that because I get to tell her okay send this send this to that person and then with that I don't have to spend money unnecessarily and i get to pay for everything i need to pay for you know accordingly because i don't have to have that allowance where the money is in my account and the next thing i feel tempted to use that money so whenever i send her the money she gets to allocate the funds um efficiently and accordingly the next step is point number seven 
so what I like to do is have multiple streams of income so guys if you know me if you know me know me or if you've known me for for a long time you know that I'm one who is going to speak about making extra money I love to make extra money I could talk about money in the morning during the day at night when I wake up in the morning every day the first thing I think about is money how am I going to make extra money how can I get this how can I get that so um, as a result, I do have um, extra sources of income or I have multiple sources of income and I'm planning on growing my multiple sources, sources or streams of income. I do makeup, I teach online classes and obviously I have a stable or a fixed um, income. But I also like to tap into other things that will let me or allow me or give me an extra income so that I can use that money um, for other things that will help me grow or also just use that money to make me feel better because already I'm saving so much money or I'm planning on saving a lot of money. Um, so having extra um, income is going to help me not feel strained financially and also be able to still live and enjoy um you know enjoy myself enjoy working while also reaching my um gold point number eight is to prioritize um i cannot express this enough you need to prioritize like i've i've been training my mind because i've been the person who has that impulsive uh, spending habits and I've been training myself that whenever I leave the house sometimes I will take the cash that I need and I will leave my bank card so that I can buy um, things that I need and I'll have a list so that's also one thing I do or that's one thing I will keep on incorporating to my plans is having a list whenever I leave the house. I know what I need. I know what I'm going to buy. I know where I'm going to find it. So if I go to Soho and if I want to buy meats from there, I take a specific amount of money. I don't take anything else. And then I go there. I spend. So when I get to the shop, I work with whatever amounts that I have with me. So that has helped me a lot. And also like discipline you guys that is point number nine discipline when i go to shops sometimes i ask myself and i have to be honest with myself like do you really need this is this necessary and if i answer no i do not think twice i do not even try to um make myself feel better and try to make myself feel like oh you only live once no <laughs> like I've been doing that a lot and I feel like it works for me and I'm so proud of myself because now I'm able to discipline myself and I'm able to prioritize my spendings without making um, making me feel like oh okay wow I suck or oh okay I fumbled so I know it's not a perfect journey but you just try and then the last point which is point number 10 is I always remind myself why I'm here I remind myself every day why I started you know like talking to my family all the time my grandmother is so supportive and she's also an influence in making sure that I save money so she's someone who will say save save all the time whenever I speak to her she will remind me to save and those things are very important which is going to be a point that I didn't uh, mention but I feel like now that I'm here uh, I must just share with you guys and say that having a good support support system is going to help you a lot when it comes to your savings because um, family can either make you or break you and when your family understands that you have financial goals and you have to do a a b c for yourself or for them then it makes you like feel at ease and it makes things so much better like in my case um, I've done renovating my home um all my life or every like ever since i started working i've been renovating my home i've been doing things for my family to a point where by right now um i'm done and my grandma was like you know what you've done so much for us it's time for you to focus on myself on yourself so whatever amount of money that i'm making i just send them money home because i i, I mean i like taking care of them and also because i have um, financial you know responsibilities but for the most part the rest of the money is mine 
to save so yes i do have a lot of money left within my salary to save but that doesn't mean that if i don't have a plan i have money so that's why i am going to plan so that i can see my money grow and also um which is point number 12 oh my god <laughs> this is going to be the last point i plan on investing some of my money so um the reason why i haven't been looking into it right now is because i know my financial goals like i'm very honest with myself when it comes to my finances and i know that by december i would have reached specific goals and at that time that is when i think and i when i look at my plan and when i look at how things are going i feel like i'll be at a better place to start investing some money and um also just having a vision board like i feel like having a vision board has helped me so much because even though obviously sometimes i may be led astray i may get distracted but at the end of the day i know why why i'm here i know what i want and i've make it i've made it like very clear to myself that you know what this is the time like unfortunately i don't want to be too harsh on myself because also that's one of the most important things you need to consider if you want to save a lot of money is try to not be too harsh on yourself but i've i've made it my responsibility to change my life you know and i'm giving myself a year to train to change my life drastically and ever since i've given myself a year i feel like a year is good enough but within the last three months there's been so many drastic changes to my life and i feel like you know what i'm still going to achieve way much more than i had planned within a year so i hope you guys found this video very um helpful obviously um responsibilities are not the same but that's how i plan on um saving and please let me know if you guys want me to you know update you guys maybe in december how are things going and maybe in december i'll have a clear budget or a clear breakdown of how i want to share with you guys like make an example of a spreadsheet where i share for example this is how much i have this is how much i send home at that time because obviously things are changing i'm working towards changing a lot of financial things in my life so please comment down below if you want to see like a spreadsheet where i explain that okay this is exactly how much i get paid this is how much I, I send this is how much i spend this is my how much i put away for this and this is how much i have left and maybe just do a quick um, update on how much I've accumulated by that time, which I feel like, okay, that's a bit too personal. But just to help you guys see that it's possible or just for us to see if the plan is going to work. But at the end of the day, it's up to me. And at the end of the day, it's also up to you if you want to reach your financial goals. It's up to you on how you move and how you you you, you plan and also the the kind of people you associate yourself with is going to be very important so with me i've realized that i cannot be too available for everyone because going out is quite pricey you know i cannot spend more than 500 nt every weekend for going out that's for me that's too much i know maybe it's not a lot for some other people but for me i feel like that's too much i can spend maybe 500 nt every second week that's fine but not every week obviously because i would rather do more things for myself than to spend more money you know drinking alcohol partying going out and about but obviously people's financial goals are not the same like i said um and i do want to have fun at the same time so my point is i have to have a plan you know i can't just go with the flow go with the moment and follow my mood i'm always bored like even now i feel like oh you know i want to have something to drink i could just go out now and get a bottle of wine but i have to compare is it worth it do i want to get a bottle of wine or a can of uh, beer which is something that i also enjoy so it's priorities and it's basically uh, making sure that at the end of the day you put yourself first and you put your goals first and you do not lose focus um, If you guys have reached this till this far, thank you so much for watching this video I hope it was very insightful and very helpful 
it's possible i know it's possible i can do it if i can do it you can also do it um until next time goodbye